Hi everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. I hope everybody's doing fantastic. Um, this is going to be a fairly short video. I don't have time right now to do a full video, but I haven't made one in a while, so I wanted to reach out to you guys, let you know I'm still out here, uh, live and kicking. Um, <laughs> I want to show you one of my recent finished objects, and by recent I mean night before last I finished this little guy up. Um, and it was just a um, spontaneous, kind of spur of the moment sort of thing. Hi, Maggie. You going to come up here? Maggie's going to join us today. <laughs> um, and it wasn't made for any specific purpose or reason or anything. Um, I just saw it and I had to make it. So let me show you what the object is. Is this not the cutest little turtle you have ever seen in your life? Oh my gosh. So this is a pattern. Uh, the, the link is in the description box below. I believe I paid between four and five dollars for the pattern. Um, and it the pattern is um, was created to use with bulky yarn. And I don't usually crochet with bulky yarn and I didn't want it that big anyway. Um, so I just made it out of worsted weight and it is the perfect size for what I was imagining. Um, <laughs> yes, Miss Maggie is here with us today. Um, and I just, I love it. So I think I'm going to end up putting it in my um, booth in the, in the shop. And um, it's a little bigger than kind of my standard small amigurumis that I make to put in the shop so I think I'm going to charge a little more for him but I just wanted to show you <laughs> I just think that is the cutest thing um in the designer's Etsy shop she also has patterns for other toppings for the turtles um there's a pancake turtle um I'm not sure if she has a pizza turtle but I've seen a pizza turtle either in her shop her her Etsy shop or other people's um but you could just go crazy with making cute turtles <laughs> so there we go there's that one so that is my um one finished object I do have um a picture I'm gonna put up right here and that is of the 10 octos I've been working on for a while so I finally finished them and I also finished, drum roll please, I finished my Octo pattern. So the link for that is um, in the description box below. It is in my Etsy shop. It is $3. It's a great deal. Um, and I know a lot of you have probably have, a, have an Octo pattern. Um, I would encourage you to try mine because I think it's a really cool one. It's a no-sew. Um, the only thing you do sew is when you finish up the, the bottom of the octo, you sew the, the opening closed. So um, all the tentacles are part of the design of the octo. So I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, so I would, I would love it if you'd go over to my shop and just at least favorite it and um, get it up there in the, in the, in the rankings. So people will see it and hopefully purchase it. Um, I also have another pattern coming and I am, I'm excited about this one too. Um, patterns are just exciting. <laughs> so this, um, I don't have one back up on my shelf. I think all the ones I had, I sold. I don't think I have any left of my swaddle babies. My swaddle babies are my biggest selling pattern. Um, I don't have a direct link to that in the description box, but I do have a link to my Etsy shop. Um, so you could follow that to find them if you have not heard of my Swaddle Babies. Um, it's been such a great pattern, and for a long time I've thought, you know, I would like to make a smaller version. Because the one that I have is, I don't know, 10, 10 to 12 inches, depending on your tension and how, how much you stuff it. And I thought, well, what, how fun it would be to make a little teeny tiny one that people could use for a keychain or just for like to tie on a, a baby gift package or just anything or just to play with. 
Um, so I did that. Um, I, I've written out the pattern. I need to put in pictures. I need to proof the pattern, but it'll be out in the next few days to a week. Um, and this is, I'm going to show you because I, this is my prototype. Um, this is the mini swaddle baby. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh. So yeah, there she is. And I even have some little teeny tiny baby bottles that I purchased. So when I make these for the store, which I am planning to do, I am going to tie a little baby bottle um, like uh, to her arm or around her neck or something so that the kids can like pretend to feed the baby. So, <laughs> so there's my mini swaddle baby. Uh, pattern to come. It's not in the shop yet unless you're listening to this after, um, let's see, what is today? I would say by July 1st at the latest, this should be in the shop. Um, and that's July 1st, 2023. So if you're listening to this anytime after July 1st, 2023, head to this shop. Um, I'm sure she'll be in there. So mini swaddle baby. And you know, how cute would that to be, be to put a little keychain on the top, a little keychain holder thing and make her, you know, a keychain kind of a little bit big, but you know, maybe not. Um, I just think perfect size for a little girl or a little boy to hold and, you know, feed the baby and yeah. Makes up really super quick too, because it's so small, a uh, quick, easy project. And wouldn't these be cute to go like in an Operation Christmas Child box? Um, I know some people put the bigger ones in there and that's great. But if you did a little one, you could fit more stuff in the box. So there's a lot of uses for this. Stocking stuffers. Um, you know, I'm, I could see something done with this for um, like a, a hospital where they have babies um, like the, what am I, maternity ward, I couldn't think of the word, like something, I don't know, maternity ward-ish, um, or anything like that, because they are so little, like the bigger ones are awesome, and I think those are great for like, you know, cuddling and snuggling, um, but these I think have even more uses, they're more versatile because they're so cute and little. All right, pattern out July 1st or sooner, definitely after. All right, so I've been busy making patterns, as you can tell, um, and I've got other couple other projects on the on the go, but I don't have time right now to do a full video, like I said, and I do want to get something out there to just let you know my Octo pattern is available now, and the mini swaddle baby pattern will be coming, and I think that's all I'm going to say for today. You guys take care. Uh, let me know below how what you think about the patterns, and I will talk to you another time. Bye!